Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's uh, video, I will be uh, ranking all of my cream cheek products. So if you're interested in uh, seeing uh, what my collection looks like and uh, how I had ranked all of, the, all of these products, then just keep on watching. I am absolutely sweating buckets. It's so hot. If you hear a fan, I am so sorry. I have like a little uh, desk fan that just, you know, circulates the air because oh, it's so freaking hot. It's like 30 degrees here in Ireland. We're not used to this, but I love it. If we had a month of a weather like this, then it would be just perfect. Ah, oh, it would be the best thing ever. But anyway, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products here to uh, talk about. Um, these are all of the cream cheek products that I own. Uh, and to be honest, um, probably like 90% of them I am trying, I am actively trying to use up and, um, you know, kind of get out of my collection so that I can replace them with something that I really want. So. Let's start with number eight, and number eight is the Kids and Smink The Everything Cream Blush in the shade Santorini. Now, uh, the reason why this is not my favorite is because of the shade. This is so pigmented. So this is what the shade looks like. This is so pigmented, it's not even funny. Uh, it is the blush that I'm wearing on my face right now. It's just, it's fine. It's just not my favorite. It has a weird color. It has gold specks of uh, glitter in it. Um, and it just, I don't think it looks nice on the face in my opinion. Now, I had received this in, I think, one of my last uh birch boxes that i had received and you know i have been using this slowly but surely it is in my whole collection project pan but it's very slow because it is so pigmented that you don't need to use a lot um and it's just yeah the color that color is not not nice whatsoever uh and number seven is another blush uh, this is the absolute New York uh, blush balm and this is in the shade razzle I think it is a very it's a different formula definitely but this is what it looks like a, a nicer color for sure however um, it also has gold glitter in it uh, the thing that I'm looking for in my cream blush is um, just a beautiful creamy sheen without any glitters uh, and unfortunately uh, both of these uh, blushes have um, some sh some glitter to it which is not my favorite now this one I am definitely a lot closer to finishing up this is all maybe you'll be able to see it like that better this is all that I have left now because um, it is quite pigmented, it's not going to go very fast, but I hope that by the end of the year I will be able to um, just use it up and replace it with something else. Uh, then at number six is my Essence Insta Perfect Liquid Highlighter. I bought this two years ago to use as a body highlighter. Unfortunately, I don't think it works well as a body highlighter, it definitely works better as a... Um, as a face highlighter the formula is kind of funny because it's very runny but it does dry down fairly quickly so this is what it uh, what it looks like and yeah it's just a nice um, subtle liquid highlight uh, again not my favorite I'm about here with this guy so I am hoping to get it done uh, by the end of the year again and buy myself one that I really really want uh, but yeah this is just okay it's definitely not worth having in my collection unfortunately uh, I mean it is long lasting because of how fast it uh, dries down 
but you know that's not necessarily what uh you know i want at the at the moment plus the color is a very very light uh, so if you have a little bit of a tan like i do now do you see this that's all tan <laughs> then it might be uh no, i'm kidding because it still works for me if you're darker than me um if you're like uh see i usually am like a fair uh foundation you know color so if you are more kind of like medium then i think that would be a little bit too light for you uh if you're anywhere near my shade it will be fine but just the formula is is a little bit iffy and uh, number five is the apicia cream uh blush in the shade uh, pollen now this guy see there's nothing really wrong with this uh, particular uh, blush it's just that um i haven't found one that i absolutely love this is the cream blush there the color is super super pretty it is very similar to the first shade that we use but it's a matte it does not contain any glitters which is exactly what i'm looking for now what i found with this particular uh cream blush is that if you don't use it in a particular way it will pick up your uh foundation so you <laughs> Kind of have to use a specific brush with it. The one that I usually use is a, a simple brush uh, like this. And then, you know, just very lightly kind of apply it on your uh, face. Otherwise, it will pick up your uh, foundation. So again, that's not a very good thing. So uh, I've had this in my collection for years and I still haven't used it up. It's a lovely color, but it has a finicky uh, formula. At number four... I have the Illamasqua Beyond Liquid Highlighter in the shade OMG. It is the highlighter that I'm wearing right now. I have it topped up with a little bit of the highlighter in the, the lightest highlighter in the Kali Contour Palette. But this is most of the highlight that you can see on my face right now. This is incredibly blinding i mean it really really blinding uh the color is really nice especially can you even see that uh, this is uh that's the highlighter right there the color is beautiful because it is not too light and not too dark i think it will work for me when i have a tan like i have now or when i am um uh, pale in the dead of winter i think it will work now the only problem that i have with this particular highlighter is that it dries extremely fast your best bet is using a um a beauty blender or a beauty sponge because that sponge is uh wet already it will sort of prolong the uh blending time that you have with this particular highlight because damn that glow is beautiful but it just dries down so fast. You will know, like, you know, I guess it's a good attribute. You will know that you won't sweat it off your face. Um, that glow is lovely though. I keep looking at it and it's so beautiful. Um, but you do not have a lot of um, time to work with it. So yeah, you have to be careful. Uh, but I like it. I really like it. It is uh, one of my favorite um cream highlights that I own in my collection and I own three in total uh, so yeah and it's quite new actually to my collection I received it in last month's uh, look fantastic box so you know that tells you a lot that you know within that month of me using it I did actually uh, you know start to quite enjoy uh, using it on my face then let's talk about my top three cream products and at number three I have my La Ritzy, uh Contour Stick in the shade Aloha and oh my god this oh it's not very can't really see that this is what it looks like it is a beautiful um neutral shade it is great for contouring and it, I think it is great for um bronzing also 
um, it just works really well. You do have to, again, be careful because it might pick up on your foundation. So the way that I've been using it is, again, with a stipple brush, something like this. What I would do is I would warm the product on uh, the back of my hand and then I would just stipple it onto my face first a little bit and then using very delicate motions I would uh, blend it out into the skin and it gives the perfect finish. Uh, it is a matte uh, product uh, but you do have to set it because um, you know it's not one of those um, self-setting ones it will um, move around uh, beautiful color beautiful blendability uh, but you do have to be careful because it might um, remove your makeup underneath then at number two I have my Chanel Sultan the Chanel so, so, Soleil not Sol Soleil Tan de Chanel a uh, cream bronzer now this is a universal bronzer now let me tell you someone that is um, a little bit uh, darker than me probably won't be able to use it someone that is a little bit lighter than me probably won't be able to use it because of how orange it looks it, it is a very very orange uh, cream bronzer now compared to what am I doing I can't do swatches uh, Compared to the uh, La Ritzy stick, you can see how orange it is. Now it is a good bit uh, lighter, so if you are, uh, you know, if you are of a medium complexion, this will not work for you. Even though they say it is supposed to be a um, universal uh, bronzer, unfortunately, it won't work for you. However. I really enjoy the formula. You can use a brush and you can use a sponge. It will not pick up on your foundation. Um, it will just beautifully blend into um, blend into the foundation, blend into your base. And as you can see, I have used it a lot. I actually have hit pan on this uh, guy. That's how much I have been using it. Uh, it's just a beautiful, smooth and uh, very blendable cream uh, bronzer. Is it something that I would repurchase? Maybe, possibly. I'm not quite sure. There are so many other cream bronzers that I would love to try, but maybe it is one of those things that I will always have in my collection because of how um, bougie makes me feel and because of how beautiful it does look on the on the skin so you know it's just a bummer that if you are either very fair or if you are very deep it will not work for you and finally at number one I have my Colourpop Super Shock uh, highlighter in the shade on the cusp now unfortunately this is no longer available because uh, this this shade in particular was a collaboration between uh, Kathleen Elise for her Zodiac collection and this is here this is the highlight right there I hope you'll be able to see it uh, let me just apply a lot a lot more this is oh look at that glow it's absolutely beautiful now as you can see uh, that particular shade is mm, a little bit deeper than you know the other two highlighters that I own so if you are if you are even a little bit fairer than me I don't think it would work for you I think you'll be able to kind of see it uh, see like a shadow on your uh, skin with this highlighter but other than the color Colourpop has so many different color shots color Super Shock highlighters available for you to choose from that I'm pretty sure if you are either deeper than me or lighter than me or you know more olivey than me then you will be able to find a shade that will work for you this formula is the best uh, cream cheek formula that or at least for highlighters that I had um, tried because it blends in beautifully, all you do is kind of apply a little bit on your uh, finger, tap it in, and it just blends in into the skin instantly. And as you can see, I've used so much of it. I had have major pan, and you know, I will use it up eventually. I know 
it takes a while to use these one these uh, up so you know I'm not scared that I will finish it up you know in the next month but you know I'm getting there slowly uh, if I roll this into my whole collection project pan I think my goal would be to use it up because you know there isn't that much left uh, but yeah I just love the formula love the this particular color color for my skin but as I said Colourpop is known for having a variety of uh, shades for all skin tones and yeah the formula is just so beautiful and so blendable and this is the pearlized uh, finish so it does not have very visible glitters and it just will look smooth on your cheeks without emphasizing any bumps or um, an uneven uneven uh, skin surface so yeah just love it I love it but uh, that is it that completes my video this is in no way the kind of um, cream cheek collection that I would like to have except probably for these two I think these two will um, always find a way back into my collection the Chanel Soleil Tante Chanel and the Colourpop Super Shark uh, highlighters the rest I'd be more than happy to kind of you know use up and get rid of uh, but yeah that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please uh, don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel but let me know in the comments down below what uh, your favorite cream product is because uh, if it's something that will suit my uh, skin type then I would love to put it on my wish list and eventually in the future try it out uh, but yeah that is it thank you very much and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.